What's your biggest fear when it comes to panel presentation or panel discussions? I think the biggest fear is still, you know, the panel where you have fewer people in the audience than you have on stage, you know, and it's, you know, it's just been under promoted or you're, you know, like Barack Obama is speaking in the other ballroom and everyone want to when it went to go see him instead of your panel. So I think that just (laughs) I don't know. I definitely have been been victim of like some bad logistics things just where like whatever you're you're stuck in the ballroom that's like seven levels underground and the main conference is somewhere else. And, you know, so I I think that's the biggest fear is just that you're in a room and you have like great panelists and you're ready to go. And there just is no energy in the room, you know, because of that feeling of like, well, there are five panelists on stage. There are three people in the audience and two of them work for companies of the people on stage and are there, you know, out of a sense of obligation. And it's like, well, I've definitely done some panels like that. Yeah, I think at one time we had so few people in the audience that I just said, you know, what if we turn this into a roundtable discussion? You know, we are in kind of a tent at this film festival and it was like people were all at the movies. They didn't want to see a panel discussion, but there was this panel discussion scheduled. And so it was like there were five panelists on one side of the table and there were like six or seven audience members. And so it's like, why don't you guys pull up your seats around the table and we'll just have a roundtable conversation about this topic. And I think it sort of turned something that would have felt really negative into something that was like, oh, wow, like I'm actually going to be a part of this now, as opposed to like looking around at this empty room and wondering like, would it be rude if I left, (laughs) you know? (laughs) 